Hi guys, once again, how is it going? Now, should you buy an Audi A3 or should you just go ahead and buy a VW Golf? So today here I'm sitting in an Audi A3 uh, that you can get as an option to the VW Golf. Uh, you can get as an option to the Mercedes A35 or A45 for that matter. Uh, or as well as for other Japanese uh, or Korean uh, options. So, <clears throat> first of all, for you to buy an Audi, that means um, you have been keen to the market, you have been keen to the options that you have on the market and singled out Audi uh, because Audi is mostly known for the performance. So, Audi is just um, a big brother or the a little more sophisticated brother of uh, the normal VW so VW Golf for that matter in this class so here I am sitting with an Audi I am sitting in an Audi A3 I just want to take you um, around it uh, show you the features and um, probably show you whether you should buy it you should consider it or uh, if you can have fun with um one of it so let me quickly show you the exterior and then we'll come back to the interior and talk about a few so this one here is um white in color audi a3 1.8 turbo we'll get to the options of the engine options later but that just means it has a 1.8 liter uh, turbo petrol engine This guy is also on sale. If you're interested, you can also reach out to Sonation. So let's quickly look at the interior. So classic Audi. Analog dials in here, um, the rev counter, the gauges, speedometer, and a little digital screen here to show you a few things as well as self diagnosis in the car so that is the ignition is on and the door is open so just switch it off. So in here you have a nice um, hexagonal, not really, uh, but yeah, about hexagonal steering wheel flat at the bottom. This is the S line, uh, it has. Um, uh, a few optional extras on it so um, dashboard here uh, leather nice and squeegee as you can see um, the circular vents here that look like uh, dials or some knobs for your air conditioning your stereo here uh, your airbag passenger airbag glove compartment here which is quite big it can also serve as a um, makeshift uh, fridge it can be cooled you can put something here and then uh, set the temperatures to very cold uh, in here you have half leather uh, so the cloth between um, the seat here and then uh, leather on the sides here at the back you have space for three although three people will not be very comfortable uh, sitting here abreast but for two it's quite good uh, the leg room here is fine headroom also uh, for people who are just under six feet it will fit uh, nicely uh, nicely done leather here as well as the, um, the fabric part of the middle a uh, little storage um, net uh, on the back of the seats and the seats as you can see they hug you nicely as the driver and the passenger the front uh, headrests here so the roof lining normally is a problem with um, uh, European cars but this one is still intact uh, reading light over here uh, boot space not quite as big as the Golf uh, surprisingly this car is best on the Golf it's actually um, a VW Golf underneath but you will find some little room uh, more space uh, in here uh, in the Golf as, as opposed to this one boot spot is also quite good uh, slightly less than the goals but uh, spacious enough for a daily driver 
for a small family of, of, of just three uh, or two. That is uh, if you are buying it you yourself with your spouse and then two more kids. This Audi here is fitted with um, the 1.8 litre TSI, TFSI engine. That is just to say it is a turbo engine. So TSI and TFSI will get to that as we try to explain the um, nomenclature of VW engines. Um, nice um, headlights here. They have daytime running lights, LED, and then bison on uh, main as well as full beam. Um, repeater lights on the side mirrors as well folding when you lock and unlock uh, 17 inch alloy here with um, this one still have the scorpion uh, Pirelli tires on it so it is the S line a trim level for this guy you will have the um, trend line you will have the S line uh, trend line the comfort line and then the s line and then on top of it the most sportier version of it is the um, the rs so the sporty version for the um, air class would be the rs3 which would come with um, a two liter turbo with about uh, 300 horsepower so guys buying this car uh there's so many benefits you are getting from this car number one you're getting a sportier version of of the golf uh, much much more sporty version of the Golf and uh, the other competitors uh, on the market unless you're going for the Mercedes A35 or A45 AMG uh, you're also going to get a um, feeling of a uh, performance car in this small car you're going to get um, uh, the value for your money this car holds its value uh, quite nicely quite well for all the time that you will own this car so there is that performance you're getting uh, there's that value you're getting and there's also that pride that comes with uh, just owning an audi so things to look out for this car look out for things like um, suspension components those are the bushes those are the ball joints uh, as well as um, the control arms whether they are um, uh, worn out or not uh, also um, uh, on the engine parts Anything from VW that has um, 1.8 litre and above will not really give you problems. It will just be the normal TL, TLC uh, to maintain these cars. Uh, so anything from 1.8 to uh, probably the 6 litre W12 that is found in the um, uh, higher end VW cars as well as the um, W16 that is found in the Bugatti Veyron. That is also a VW car. Uh, so if you're looking at Audi A3, you're looking at VW Golf, you're looking at uh, Seat Leon, Seat Leon, uh, you're looking at Skoda Octavia, those are typically um, the same car underneath, uh, all of them are just um, VW cars in other badge, badge, badge names. Yeah, so on the engine wise, the 1.8 litre produces just about 200 horsepower. Uh, which is quite enough for you in this small car so it won't give you problems things to look out for is just um, uh, regular oil changes regular servicing and then uh, the engine will need a timing kit at about hundred thousand kilometers that is the timing belt this particular engines have timing belts so that is a timing belt that is a water pump as well as the auxiliary belt that is the fan belt that drives the um, alternator and um, power steering but for these models nowadays we have electronic power steering and then uh, you also have um, the electronic uh, electric fan so electric fan and electric um, power steering so the steering is nice not heavy uh, since this is a sport car and s line s line is just for sport uh, trend trend line is just the normal trend that has a bit more kit in it and then the comfort line is the basic uh, the, i think the comfort line is the best model in in vw cars and then you have the r line which is at the top of it all um the rest model um forgive uh, the sun glazing on the other side on the far end it's quite hot here in nairobi um, and i'm trying to film uh, in the middle of the day yeah so um, just check out on a few things that you will do on a normal car on any other car for service parts yeah 
so we can go over the mini or the few bits that are in this car again one more one more time and then if you're looking to buy this exact car is on sale so if you're looking to buy this exact car, audi a3 you can find it um uh, through Asonation, uh, you can also find it through Johnny's Wheels. Uh, call the numbers that you will see in the description uh, for good offers. So these cars in the market go between 700 and uh, 1.5 million uh, Kenya shillings. That is around um, uh, $7,000 to uh, 1500 dollars um, in Kenya for used ones locally. But you can find this one at around um, a good offer around 900 there about um, negotiable uh, for that matter so if you're looking at it um, check out the link in the description as well as the numbers there you can call them to get a good deal